everybody, it's Jamal here. Welcome back to my Creepy Pass review series. Alright, now, Jack's Big Music Show, a heavy metal band, is the only creepy pasta I haven't considered to be entirely oh. dog shit. But Kevin just had to fuck this over. And by fucking over his own, his only decent story, he's fucking over me. So, let's tear his shitty changes apart. So, it's basically a story about this, about our main protagonist watching, you know, watching a last episode about Jack's big music show. He talks about the show, for those of us who don't know, he talks about the episode. Jack Berry Mellow playing music. Mel could for some reason talk. And Sheldon comes in and tells everyone to shut the hell up. Then they say they want to play it out loud, so Sheldon leaves them to find music. Where the fucking music is coming from. I find it to be a good smooth jazz concert, which turned out to be a heavy metal concert, which turned Jack, Mary, and Mel into heavy metal obsessed maniacs and killing everyone with music somehow. So, let's talk about the changes. I'm only going to talk about the changes. Because the changes to the story piss me off. So, Jack. Uh, so, there's the scene. See, there's the scene. Where Jack, Mary, Mill, and Skak have get possessed. I have metal and the things. And then they try to go to Sheldon and play shit. They also try to send him to hell. They use with his music be gone or what they now turn to do is to send to hello what the fuck I, I don't know anyway, so before they sent Sheldon to hell they played the song from South Park's bigger longer and uncut little boy you're going to hell then they send Sheldon to hell anyway so they rock the clubhouse Now we have the biggest piece of shit. Jack. All the characters that were killed by heavy metal music and and all the characters that were killed by heavy metal beasts to come back as zombies. Fucking zombies. I am dead fucking serious. And then he's now the leader. Fuck you. Okay. No. Okay. He tried to fuck over his story. He tried to fuck me. He's tr Okay. Yeah. Now it. And the only redeeming, well, the only redeeming qualities to his stories, you know, it's just, anyway, that's not that good. Now, let's get there. Now, let's talk about something that I actually tolerate because, you know, to mend my broken heart, because Kevin tried to fuck me, and tried to mentally fuck me. All right, now we're going to read Eliza's rewrite, because... Elijah mentally fucked me, so it's only fair that I have to read something to to actually make me happy. All right, so so the story, the rewrite starts with our main character talking about the experience with Jack's Big Music Show and explaining the show to those who do not know. And so he goes on to explain the last episode he found. 
Now a DVD, which actually looked normal until the halfway mark, and now everything's red and covered with steam. And you're screaming, yeah, 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 baby, that's not what I'm looking for. Remember that shit? Yeah, you probably don't. Anyway, so the intro starts with Welcome to the Clubhouse at night. The intro they all play music. It's not so simple. Similar. But rather it's basically the same thing except rather than killing the rest of the characters, they turn the rest of the characters into heavy metal rockers. Honestly, I don't think it tries to be scary. I, I think its main attempt was to, you know, make me laugh. And while it did do that, it definitely had me intrigued. And you want to know something... You want to know something this story, that Kevin's story didn't do? It goes into detail on Jack's... On what Jack's mother's... Jack's mother... Looks like. Oh, Lord. Oh, now they actually see it for the first time. Jack's mom had light blue skin, curly green hair, an apron, base long sleeve shirt, a brown skirt, and red high heels. That's we can get this. So they just they just sent her to hell. After that, they all hell and you know all that. I'm sorry if I didn't really have any motivation at this point, it's just, I'm really fucking tired, man. Anyways, so, Kevin fucked over his own story, and by doing that, he mentally fucked me. This is why Kevin is better at telling stories than Kevin will ever be. I mean, this is why Eliza's better at telling stories than Kevin will ever be. Fuck. Anyway, thanks you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below which story you want me to read next, and I'll see you next next time. See you later.